How to train for your jumping style. Several jumping techniques are used in different sports. In basketball, the most commonly used style is the vertical jump, especially when you need to take a shot. In volleyball, there are many, but the most commonly used is the spike jump when you want to strike the ball with force. And the gymnasts do different types of jumps, but for them, they need to run very fast before they jump onto a springboard and then leap over the vaulting table. In nearly all sports and fitness gains, jumping is used. Many might not see it as something important to learn, but actually, it is something that will make you stand out. And in this video, I am going to show you how to stand out. You will get to know the best exercise you can do for training each style, which gets you better each day. The muscles in your body you need to train, and a lot more. Please click the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Let's go! If you want to improve your jumping ability, it takes a broad process that involves working on your physical fitness, including your strength, power, technique, flexibility, and conditioning. Each of these components has a vital role in your performance and stops you from getting injured after a jump. Strength in the lower body muscles gives you the necessary force to propel your body off the ground. Power, which combines both your strength and speed, gives you the energy you need to achieve the right height and distance in your jumps. With proper technique, your jumps would be great without getting you injured, and it does this by promoting the correct body mechanics after training for them. Flexibility enhances the range of motion in the joints and muscles, allowing for smoother movements. And finally, good overall conditioning means that the repeated jumps you do, wherever you do them, won't make you tired in just a single jump. Together, these elements create a foundation for the best and safest jumping in any sport or activity. And we were going to show you how to train each of them. The journey to a higher and more powerful jump starts with building a solid foundation of strength, and obviously, particularly in your lower body muscles. The exercises you need for this are squats, lunges, and deadlifts. Squats, for instance, are great as they engage the quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and core muscles, all of which play a role in jumping. Lunges and deadlifts, on the other hand, similarly work on these muscle groups, building your lower body strength and stability. You can train using progressive overload, that is, gradually increasing the weights or resistance used. This makes sure there is continuous muscle growth and endurance, providing a stronger base for more explosive movements. Now, when it comes to getting stronger and more explosive, you need plyometric exercises for this and in turn, they boost the power you need for a higher jump. These exercises focus on more muscle contractions and extensions, teaching your muscles to produce force in short bursts of time. Exercises like box jumps, jump squats, and bounding drills are all very effective. For instance, box jumps do not only work on strengthening your legs and power, but they also help your nervous system to react faster and more well. Jump squats also improve your ability to push upward with force. And bounding drills enhance your skills while jumping and coordinating movements. All these exercises mentioned are the best you could start. But did you know you also have to be flexible? Strength, power training, flexibility, and mobility are actually important. But your flexibility stands out because, as you get better, your muscles will move through a better range, and you will jump higher. You can do stretching exercises like leg swings and hip circles. They are very useful. You don't have to take it like an exercise on its own, but instead you can stretch your legs when you are warming up for a jump squat or any exercise you usually do. It increases blood flow and muscle temperature, which is great. Other cool flexibility exercises you could do are static and dynamic stretches. Your jumping just can't be right if you have too much fat in your body or if your body contains too much oil. That's why we have to add the best food for you to eat. For this, protein is key. It builds and repairs your muscles, giving you the energy you need for workouts in the process. Healthy fats, take note of the healthy, will boost health and hormone balance. Lastly, drink a lot of water and sleep well. Energy is also the key. If you want to do a perfect jump, for vertical jumps, engage your core, bend your knees, and swing your arms upward while pushing off the ground explosively. In horizontal jumps like long jumps, lean forward and use your arm to swing yourself. This will make you propel yourself even further. To summarize all, if you want to improve your jumping ability, start strength training, do plyometric exercise, increase your flexibility, have proper nutrition, and sleep well. By systematically addressing each of these areas, you can enhance your muscle strength, explosive power, flexibility, and overall endurance, leading to better jumping performance. Consistency, patience, and a well-rounded training regimen are the keys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this. If you really enjoyed the video, we have more for you. Choose the left or right video and get your question answered.